I texted Ori today and asked how she was. And she said, you know, it was a bit rocky, but I'm okay. And I really love that. I love this seeing this freedom to to be okay with not being okay. It's it's freedom in a way. So mm -hmm. I would love to just look in this direction because actually I think a lot of people feel like that at the moment without the freedom part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just I, I wrote to Leah that I was feeling a little down the last few days, mm -hmm. uh, which is, was kind of interesting also when I thought about the talk we're going to have. Mm -hmm. And it's always interesting to see like the comparison to how it used to be, uh, because that's exactly the freedom part. Mm -hmm. um, that it's like, yeah, it's like first it's like the freedom to just feel whatever I feel. Mm -hmm. without having to kind of banish it <laughs> yeah. or fight it so much um I, I feel a lot of freedom i just i'll just say like for the people who don't know me i just i i kind of um i don't like to say like everyone i stumbled across this understanding i just came across this understanding mm -hmm. like about the summer three years ago um so it's so and it's really changed my life like in the point of view of just because I've known this feeling like forever you know just feeling down every once in a while going inside my head you know it's going like the thoughts going faster or just having like all this load of all these things and I just realized today it's like we have to-do lists they're actually like mm -hmm. to think lists mm -hmm. we have all these things like on our list to think about like that we just put them there and we just and we just think about them because we think we have to think about them <laughs> so so um so i just noticed there was a lot of my on my list this week <laughs> i guess and so so a lot of what i've noticed is it's like this freedom from it's like seeing that i have this list and that i'm thinking about it but there's a lot of freedom of like realizing that i don't have to think them through mm. i don't have to keep on going with them i don't have to take them seriously um I don't have to do anything about them and it's such a big difference because it used to be like oh there's this going on there's this going on and i don't feel well so i need to come with a master plan which i'll never really you know i'll try to strictly mm -hmm. follow and then it will fail so it's like there's so much that was cut off the list so mm -hmm. so it's like even in periods or days like this when the load can feel kind of heavy it's so much lighter than before because there's all these extra things that just came off it you know it's just like um the fighting part goes you know off the the load mm -hmm. and uh, coming up with the master plan kind of like off the list right all these things mm -hmm. that are just not on the list anymore or if they come i just they just go away mm -hmm. and most of all for me it's like i think this is the thing that's been my major insight was that things are always shifting like it never stays the way it is mm -hmm. which is kind of kind of like of course it's common sense but i it's like it, it wasn't very clear to me um so every time that i felt something it felt like oh it's going to stay like this forever so of course i had to fight it and now it's kind of like oh, i know it's going to pass mm -hmm. i don't know when but it's going to pass so there's so much freedom in that so I kind of um it's just a different world yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because i could also see it uh, earlier today it's also a part of the freedom is just uh, kind of seeing the um, through the um, illusion in a way in this thing of like what's happening when we feel kind of down mm -hmm. or when we are so preoccupied with things and it's like for me it was always also um it's like always, but I can see more through it and also in the sense of like, oh, a part of the game that's going on when we feel this way, it's almost like um, we play with ourselves, like seeing how much suffering we can take. <laughs> like, uh, because we know actually kind of some of the things that will make us feel better, like moving or dancing or singing, whatever, right? Like things that are in movement, but there's so much resistance to it when we feel <laughs> 
but it's like I know and I also knew it in the past that it would help, but kind of resisting it. And now I can see that I'm playing this game. Mm-hmm. It's like you can see yourself like on 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 a stage in the theater almost. Yeah, you kind of almost know that you are playing a part. Mm-hmm. That you've you're, you're, that you rehearse your entire life. So even if you don't feel very well while doing it, it's like it's at least it's transparent. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like there are these moments that you can even just kind of see the just the ridic- like the ridicule the how much how ri- bleh, ridiculous it is. Ridiculousness. The oh, ridiculousness. Oh. Thank you, Shalia. <laughs> <Yeah. English word. laughs> yeah, the ridiculousness of it. And then you can kind of like your point of view shifts and then you can go on and mm-hmm. kind of test yourself again. Oh no, I'll just feel this way. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so I really like it that, uh, you know, there's, it's just, it's funnier in a sense also when we feel bad. Mm-hmm. It's not that serious anymore, no, isn't it? I mean, before it, it felt like life-threatening sometimes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I literally thought that I'm going to die mm. if I stay longer in this feeling I didn't want to have. Or and yeah, when you say this, what comes up to me is like a picture of like a dead end street mm-hmm. or something, and it's really used to look like a dead end. Yes. Um, so, and now it's like uh, it's a dead end, but there's you know that there's a lane on the side that you can do a shortcut. And you sh- kind of know that you will see it. You don't know when, you don't know how, but you will. And and you don't have to bang your head against the wall. I mean, mm-hmm. you can, and if you do it, you just watch it as you as you just said. But it's not like yeah, because that it's really. fun like to see also like um, like I I can you know all these thoughts like how also illogical that is like all the thoughts that are really serious and some of them are really serious but at the Mm. same time you can see how you can have one at the moment and a really contrasting one the next moment and one moment you can think oh it's like that because I'm a parent and the next moment oh I feel thanks god I'm a parent because you know I have to go and pick my kid up Uh, like pick my kid from school and then I'm already outside and I feel better so I'm like oh thanks God <laughs> so you can throw it at anything right mm. and it's like oh thanks God like I don't have to go along with all these explanations anymore mm. it's, it's so freeing mm. like it can it, it can happen I don't have to follow them wow mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so much better so for the people who are maybe totally new to us and to this understanding in general, just maybe just a little bit of help for them. In this moment, we're a little bit talking about the principle of thought, I guess. So just the idea that as human beings, we think. And from all the 7.6 billion other people on the planet, I don't think that we could find a single person who would disagree with us that people think. And thought happens to us. And we get a lot of thought energy coming our way all day long. And waking hours and sleeping hours, our personal computer mind is just thinking all the time. And maybe you too, whoever's listening out there, you can recognize you have have thinking. You're not the thinking, but you have thinking. That's Mm -hmm. happening to you as well, all day, every day. And sometimes we, we have this idea. It's like a little dialogue in our head. You know, that little voice that's talking to you, that's telling you things. Mm -hmm. And what Orit is pointing to, what she was pointing to as far as it's changing. It's just, we get all kinds of thinking and all types of qualities, you know, just some neutral thinking that doesn't bring up a lot of feeling in us. And sometimes some really serious thinking that arouses some serious feelings in us and some 
maybe prideful feelings that or thoughts that bring up some prideful feelings in us and whatever thoughts that are in our field of consciousness at the moment creates an experience that we can feel in yeah, it's also the illusion part i like to think about it is like uh, we have the most um like a special effects department yeah. like the biggest budget in yeah. the world <laughs> Yeah. Everything it makes everything look so, so real and compelling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, right? And and what we're pointing to here in the, this conversation is to also as real as that thought might look and feel in the moment, we have a chance to just let it be what it is, which mm-hmm. is like an experience that's entered into our field of consciousness. And there's nothing to be done about that experience. There's no need to try to get rid of it or to try to keep it or anything else because we're getting a constant stream of new experiences all the time. And they're nothing to be scared of or worried about. They're not saying anything about us. Um, how well we're doing in the world, how well we're not doing in the world. And that's that's the freedom. It's just the fact that we think. Yeah. And what I really love is that you're so well equipped. Mm. We feel it. And if we feel crappy, anxious, stressed, we have stressful, crappy, anxious thinking going on, conscious or unconscious, it doesn't matter at the end. And when I realized that this, I just could feel it and being aware and sometimes jump in it and do whatever I do with my thinking, but it started to appear as this alarm clock in a way, even mm. though we forget it and we, we don't know that it works or we lose the trust that it always works the same way, we kind of start to know, oh, I'm there again. As you pointed for it, I was lost and up in my head and I felt whatever I felt. Me too, Shelia too, mm. all of us. But this sensation changed. I really start to, oh, oh, I feel, hmm, okay. I don't trust what's going on in my head. Even though it feels really real and appealing, this Oh, you're my master. I have to trust you. That kind of softened. Yeah. With time in a way as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really big difference. Mm-hmm. So it's just knowing that it feels, that, yeah, that it feels real, but you just know that it's not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it makes a very big difference because it used to just, um, yeah, to also... Yeah. You just know that it's real, but it's not. Yeah, you know that and it's not. So. At the beginning, do you guys remember that it really felt counterintuitive? Mm. It's the it's the complete opposite that to what we were used to do. Absolutely. All of us. I mean, we were used to jump in and analyze it to death. Yeah. And uh it's this really counterintuitive thing to, for me, it felt like I really wanted to. Oh, yeah. And it's exactly the opposite to do. Yeah, totally, totally. Mm-hmm. 